Welcome to Dark Knight Films Reviews and another Hammer Production tonight. Tonight, I will be reviewing The Man Who Could Cheat Death, released in 1959. The Man Who Could Cheat Death stars Anton Diffring, Hazel Court, Christopher Lee, Arnold Marley, Delphi Lawrence, and Francis DeWolf. The Man Who Could Cheat Death was directed by Terence Fisher. Now this one was written by the amazing Jimmy Sangster based on a novel named The Man in Half Moon Street, which was written by Beret Linden. Now this one originally was supposed to star Peter Cushing. But uh, he dropped out before the film was supposed to start filming. And uh, his reasoning, I, I don't know if I believe the reasoning that is said in uh, many of the texts about this film. Um, because it said that he dropped out of it because uh, he was exhausted from working on... The Hound of the Baskervilles that same year. And uh, I don't know if I believe that myself, just because Peter Cushing's uh, Sherlock Holmes didn't have that much screen time and didn't have that much to do physically in that film. Um, hell, uh, Andre Morel's Dr. Watson had more screen time than, um, than him in that film and did more. In that film um, so I'm uh, not sure if I buy that one but anyway he uh, dropped out of the film and Paramount who had been distributing the film was angry because they lost that actor so they relegated distributing this film to double features um, and that's a shame because this film is a um, really well acted Hammer film, um, well directed by Terrence Fisher. It, it really is kind of a lot like um, the picture of Dorian Gray story um, in a lot of respects because Anton Differing's character of Dr. George Bonet remains youthful through the use of a surgery which kills a person and takes their thyroid gland and replaces it into his body. And uh, it's, it's, it's a really uh, interesting, fun film. Um, well done, well written, well directed, well acted. Um, performances, um, especially... Um, Hazel Court and Christopher Lee are uh, pretty damn good in this, as is Francis DeBull as Inspector Lucrece. Um, now, he is, I've always liked uh, Francis DeWolf, um, but in this one, he got a pretty damn good role in this, um, as is Christopher Lee playing uh, Dr. Pierre Girard. He is playing, um, which he didn't get to do that often, he is playing a good guy in this. Um, Hazel Court infamously did a uh, topless scene in this film, which was released in the European versions of the film, but never made it to US and UK prints of the film. Um, which is unfortunate. You, you hate to see any, you know, footage end up being on the cutting room floor and, and at this time um, a lot of films um, through Hammer and a lot of other um, British companies uh, were doing these European kind of cuts um, in which they would do more provocative stuff in the film um, that wouldn't be seen by US or UK audiences. Um, 
but most of these films that did those um, European uh, versions of the films, most of them, much like this one, those versions of the film are no longer available, unfortunately. But Anton Differing as uh, George Bonet, he gives a okay performance. He's never been one of my favorite um, of the actors um, in a British film. I've seen him in a few films, and um, he's okay. Um, this film probably would have been much, much better had Peter Cushing actually played this role in the film. Uh, but he didn't, so um, what are you going to do? Um, but if you can find the movie and everything and, and watch it, I mean, uh, it's it's a really it's got a good story and it's well directed. Like I said, in the other performances, like I said, of Hazel Court, Christopher Lee, um, Francis De Wolf are good enough to keep you into the film, especially getting to see Christopher Lee playing a good guy, which, like I said, you didn't get that many opportunities to do that. So any films where he's playing somebody like that, cherish them. So I will give um, The Man Who Could Cheat to Death from 1959, I will give this film a... 7.8 out of 10. Um, if you've not seen it, I uh, I would suggest you check it out. Um, it's a decent um, uh, hammer film. But if you have seen it, what do you think? Do you agree with my review? Do you disagree? Let me know in those comments down below. And as usual, if you enjoyed this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell icon so you can be notified about future videos. And while you're by the subscribe button, don't forget to click that join button and become a Dark Knight fan. Anyway, hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope you will join me tomorrow for another action movie night. Anyway, hope to see you then. Thanks for watching.